While we have uh, heard some things that sound uh, very optimistic as it relates to increased funding to the hospitals and healthcare system in the state, uh, a $250 million appropriation or increase for public education, and uh, an increase in funding to TAG. While those things sound very optimistic, in the overall course of things, there were some things we did not hear in the governor's budget presentation. We still have not uh, gotten a firm commitment that the taxpayers will receive their promised tax credit on their tax bills this spring. While the governor challenged the legislature to swiftly address pension and benefit reform, which the legislature is committed to doing, the governor seemed to tie bar providing property tax relief at a rate of 50% to pension and benefit reform. He also indicated that uh, he would commit to, with very quick and swift pension and benefit reform, a payment into the pension fund. Well, those payments have to be made regardless of any progression of negotiation or deal making with the legislature. Uh, we must see those pension payments made. In addition, when you spread out $250 million that he is proposing to give back to school districts, there are 566 school districts in the state and we've not seen the detail of his plan. We must see what implication a $250 million restoration has. It does not have significant impact because, remember, he reduced spending in public education by $825 million last year. For us, uh, we have not yet seen how this proposal addresses the two issues that are most important to the citizens of this state property tax relief and the expansion of the economy and the expansion of jobs. You know, the governor talks about the new norm in Trenton. There's nothing new in what the governor talked about. He cut funding to new towns and told the mayors, now you have it. Now you shouldn't raise taxes. How can they not raise taxes when they have no more money than they had last year with their bills going up? The governor cut funding to schools he talks about it's going to increase funding. He's shorting the school funding formula by more than $2 billion. The, no, the new norm is the same old. It's higher property taxes for the citizens of New Jersey. The government would like to present it in a different light, but it's very simple. When you provide governments less money, when they're used to getting certain amounts of money, you decrease it, and then tell them to do more with less, well, he can't do that, and they can't do that. You have, I, I, I really enjoyed the governor's comments about the new norm. There's nothing new about cutting aid to schools and towns and saying it's your problem. That is what the problem in Trenton was and continues to be. Questions? Questions? Do, you, do you guys, uh, as a caucus, do you guys feel the governor's laying down an ultimatum that it's either, hey, pass my five benefits or you know, I take money away from schools? You guys well, just and will that give you any more? Terry, I have a plan on both that I could have actually thrown out. I've been working with the assembly on those. So, you know, we already said we were going to talk to the government. That's not an old man. We put plan out there. Sir, even, even though you have put a plan out, it almost seems like he is giving you an ultimatum. He's saying do this, whether it's your, your bill or not, or I'm not, you know, he can be really disarmed. Well, you know, the governor, when he ran for governor, promised people, you gotta, you gotta remember what he said, he wasn't gonna cut rebates, wasn't gonna cut school aid, wasn't gonna cut municipal aid, and I, I was gonna fix everything, and he did everything he said he wasn't gonna do. He's the one who put us in this situation. We're here willing to work. Old and don't work with people. We are willing and able to work with them. My proposals are my proposals. I've, I've asked the speaker in the assembly to look at them, to see where we can work together, come up with a package, but an ultimatum doesn't work. Threats don't work, and honestly, what the governor has said hasn't worked up to this point. You know, it was, it was frightening to actually hear that, because if these proposals are strong enough, they should stand by themselves. The idea of playing one segment of New Jersey against another, 
which is in Governor Christie's playbook, I thought it was quite frightening. This is about property taxpayers who we're fighting for, about folks who need jobs, and folks who want to see the economy improve. And instead, what the governor took today was this opportunity to divide people, to play people against one another. I think that's the absolute worst way to do it. We have solid proposals out there. We'll evaluate them as the Speaker has made clear, as the Senate President has made clear. But we'll evaluate them on their own merits, not under the threat of a loss for someone else.